Officials are planning major upgrades for the Sioux Locks, which are crucial to the region's economy. Today, Governor Snyder and seven Michigan legislatures toured the locks and voiced their support for these renovations. TV6's Harry Lee reports from the Sioux. 80 million tons of commodities, half of it iron ore, pass through the Sioux Locks each year. But the locks are in need of serious repairs. There haven't been any comprehensive improvements in nearly 50 years, and the locks still operate with some components more than 100 years old. Certainly it's a, it's a tribute to the men and women of the Army Corps of Engineers that they can continue to keep pumps operating that are 100 years old, but we simply can't live on the investments that our grandparents and great-grandparents made. It's time for us to step up and do our part. The Sioux locks are comprised of four parallel locks, but only two of them are operational, and only one, the Polock, is large enough to handle 70 percent of ship traffic. Authorities say the region's economic security shouldn't depend on just one lock. So they plan to replace the two non-operational locks with another Poe-sized backup lock. We are the lifeblood of the auto industry. So to have the risk uh, eliminated would be good for all of us in Michigan. So it's about more economic opportunity and at a lower risk. The Michigan legislators toured the locks facility today, a week before bipartisan legislation is planned to be introduced in both the U.S. House and Senate. Now we have a Congress for the first time working together with the Senate, working together with an administration to truly prioritize infrastructure. So yeah, this is a wonderful opportunity for us as a country to succeed. And that's not Democrat or Republican, that's us as a country. A new lock isn't a new idea. The lock project was originally authorized in 1986, but Congress never approved the costs, which are now estimated at nearly $1 billion. And while both sides of the aisle support the project, construction won't start until they voted to appropriate the funds. Harry Lee, TV6 News, Sault Ste. Marie.